Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, using a worked example, we will explain how to determine the maximum compressive load of angle sections with 4.6 meters long legs connected back to back and doubled bolted at the ends to 12 millimeters thick gusset plates. So, we have a compression member of a lattice girder comprises 2 150th by 90 by 15. S275, connected back to back. We need to determine the maximum compressive load, which can be carried by the member. For member, 2 150th by 90 by 15, double angle section, we have the following properties. And for single angle section, we have the following properties. First of all, we need to check the section is non-slender. For thickness less than or equal to 16 mm for S275 steel grade. The design strength equals 275 newton per square millimeters and epsilon equals 1. So, using table 11 checking section classification for double angle subject to axial compression B over T equals 6, D over T equals 10, and B plus D over T equals 16. Since B over T and D over T are less than 15 epsilon, and B plus D over T is less than 24 epsilon, the section is not slender. Next, we need to determine the effective length. Effective length equals 4,600 mm for all axes in this case. Next, we need to calculate slenderness ratios. Lambda is generally evaluated using effective length over radius of gyration. For double angles connected to both sides of a gusset, or member by two, or more bolts in line along each angle, the slenderness should be taken as the greater of the following. Lx and Ly are taken as the length L between the intersections of the centroidal axes or the setting out lines of the bolts. For double angles connected to both sides of a gusset, or member by a single bolt in each angle, the compression resistance should be taken as 80% of that for an axially loaded member with the same slenderness. Lambda C equals LV over RV, but not greater than 50. LV is measured between interconnecting bolts for back-to-back -back struts. RV is the minimum radius of gyration of a single angle, in other words, about the VV axis. LX equals LY equals 4600 mm. For a 150 by 90 by 15 double angle, lambda C equals 800 divided by 19.3 mm which is 41.45. Putting our values into these equations, we get the following results. Therefore, the critical slenderness lambda equals 128.6. Next, we need to select suitable strut curve from table 23. Use strut curve C for all axes. We will use table 24.6, since lambda 128.6 is greater than 110. Using S275, steel design strength is 275 newton per square millimeter. We interpolate compressive strength, which equals 87.4 newton per square millimeter. As a result, compression resistance should be obtained from compressive strength 87.4 newton per square millimeters, 
multiplied by the gross cross-sectional area 6,780 square millimeters. This gives us a value of 592.6 kilonewtons. Therefore, the maximum compressive load, which can be supported equals 592.6 kilonewtons. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.